Hi, my name is Ophir Gabay, accounting professional based out of Sunrise, Florida. And today I wanted to give you a brief overview of how to use billable expenses and items in QuickBooks Online. Uh, so the first thing I want to go over is that um, we are using a sample QuickBooks company file. And I, I have two tabs open um, because later on uh, we're going to go through a couple demonstrations, a couple examples. And I'm going to leave... Um, on this tab, I'm going to open up a profit and loss report uh, just so we could see the effects of each transaction um, as we process them. So as you see, um, I'm, I'm going to filter out the profit and loss for today only. Um, and as you see, there's nothing in there as of right now. So let's go into our company settings. Um, this is going to be the first thing you're going to want to do is, is to make sure what your uh, current, the current file you're working on, what their setting is in regards to billable expenses. Um, so if you, if you click into your company settings by clicking the gear icon and then account and settings, you want to click on expenses and then the bills and expenses area, click into that. And uh, the, the area that we're going to be focused on is this right here. Uh, to make expenses and items billable. Um, another thing that you're going to want to turn on, uh, make sure is on, is um, to track expenses and items by customer. Uh, you definitely want to have that on. Um, I, I'm not even sure that you'll be able to check this box off if that option is not on. Um, because of course you want to associate a specific item uh, or expense with a specific customer in order to make it billable. So, um, so if by clicking this, we're turning on the feature to, to make items billable. And um, what that what that's going to do is it's going to add another column in all our sales forms, um, the invoices and sales receipts, where we can mark a specific line item as billable to a customer. So. Um, if you look below this this line, there's a couple different features that QuickBooks Online provides. Uh, first is the ability to use a markup with a line, um, and we'll, we'll go into that in another video because um, I don't want to make this video too long. Um, uh, this t in this video, we're just going to look at billable expenses and items without a markup. Um, uh, so. We're going to focus on this section here, which is to either track billable expenses and items as income or not to track them as income. So uh, we'll go in, we'll, I'll give you a brief uh, uh, overview of the difference between tracking a billable expense as, as income versus not. Uh, basically, if this box is not checked, we're choosing not to track billable expenses as income and what that does is uh, let's say you're incurring an expense uh, a sub, you're paying a subcontractor for work he did on behalf of a, a customer and let's say uh, well, let, well let's go into an example right now so uh, we're we're choosing not to track it as income let's save this setting and close out the settings menu and let's create an expense on behalf of a customer. And let's uh, choose the vendor. Okay, so we're going to create an expense. Uh, we're going to click the, the plus icon and then go into expense. And this would also work if. Um, a vendor gives you a bill, uh, you could create a bill and mark it as billable to a, a customer. But for now, we'll just keep it simple. Um, and then we're going to create a new uh, vendor. Uh, we'll call him the landscaping contractor. And we're going to incur um, disposal fees of let's say five hundred dollars and so this is the new column that you'll get once you turn on that feature 
and we won't, we're going to want to use that. Uh, whenever we're incurring an expense, it's going to be billed to a customer. So we're going to mark it as billable, this line item, and we're going to associate it with the customer cool cars. Uh, you could type in a brief description, uh, disposal uh, expenses. All right, so let's save and close. And if we look at our profit and loss and refresh that, you'll see that we now have a $500 disposal fees expense on the books. So if we scroll down, we'll see that there. Uh, so let's uh, let's go ahead and invoice a customer. And we're going to choose cool cars because uh, we're continuing with that example. So as soon as you select the customer on any sales form, an invoice or sales receipt, you'll see this little drawer open up uh, that's going to show you all your billable expenses associated with that customer. So to add a billable expense to the invoice, you just click this little add um, arrow. Or you could click the add all if you have multiple expenses for that uh, particular customer. And then um, what that does is, is that it adds the line item with the, the amount and the description that you used on uh, the original expense. So you we will uh, we'll send out this invoice. So save and close that. And we'll go back into the profit and loss and refresh. So you'll see that what happens if we choose not to treat a billable expense or item as income is that it gets into the same account uh, and we'll click into the account to see exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, basically it, it washes off the, the original transaction so you have the, the $500 going out to the landscaping contractor and then the invoice for the $500 to the customer basically makes that account a wash. And so that, that's what happens when you choose to use um, a billable expense um, as not as income. All right, so the, the next example we're going to look at is uh, if we want to click that box to track billable expenses as income. So let's go ahead and click this, track billable expense expenses and items as income and for now we're going to use uh, the single account option uh, just to give you a brief overview of the, the difference between these two options is basically um, in the single account uh, option we're going to have all our uh, billable expenses or items rec uh, when you're issuing the invoice they're going to get recorded in one um, income account I believe it's called uh, reimbursable expenses income. Uh, so everything's going to get tracked in one income account. Um, if we choose this option to track it in multiple accounts, you'll have to go into your chart of accounts uh, for each expense that you um, foresee using as a billable expense and mark that expense as a reimbursable expense. And then uh, uh, you're going to have to choose which income account you want to recognize that uh, income in whenever you're uh, invoicing a client uh, or customer. So for now, let's just use the, the single account option and let's save the setting and close this out. And we'll do a similar example. So we'll go, we'll issue an, an expense. Uh, this time I'll, we'll do um, a bill just to show you uh, that you can do it this way as well. So we're going to do, uh, we're going to get a bill from the landscaping contractor and it's going to be for, let's use the same account, disposal fees, and we'll change the amount a little bit. So this, let's say it was $800 this time, uh, disposal fees, and it's billable. We'll choose Amy's Bird Sanctuary as a customer. Let's 
save and close this. Go into our profit and loss. You'll see while that reloads, uh, let's start our invoice to Amy's Bird Sanctuary. Yeah, so if we go back into our profit and loss, you'll see the $800 in there as an expense. And let's, in, let's invoice Amy's Bird Sanctuary. Uh, this time when the drawer opened up, you'll, you'll notice that there's two different um, items in here. So the first one is billable time. So uh, in this sample company file, uh, there must have been uh, someone that entered uh, some billable time to this customer. So we're going to ignore that for now. And we're just going to add um, the billable expense that we just entered. Uh, so as, as you'll see, uh, it brings in the amount and the description. So let's save and close this. Go back into our profit and loss and click refresh. And this time you'll notice that uh, the, the, the invoice that we issued is going to go into a different account and it's going into this billable expense income account. Uh, so the $800 in there and we continue to uh, realize the, the expense on the books uh, for the disposal fees. So th this is kind of neat because uh, you could keep track of the two different, um, of the, the expense and the, the reimbursement from the client in two different accounts to make sure that, um, that you're, you're for one, uh, have, having the correct margins or uh, your invoicing for, for all of your uh, billable expenses. There, there could be numerous reasons for, for using this uh, setting. So it's really up to you. Um, and so the last, the last, uh, the last setting that we have, if we go back into our expenses section, billable bills and expenses, uh, is to use multiple accounts. Uh, so let's go over that really quickly. So if we choose to enable that feature, uh, we'll have uh, to set up each uh, expense account as a, a possible reimbursement account. So let's go back into our disposal fees expense account and we'll edit this. And so right away off the bat, you'll see that this section is going to be the new one uh, that you wasn't there before. Uh, it's the ability to mark um, a specific account on the chart of accounts as, um, as uh, to enable the use on billable expenses. So if you click that, you're going to also want to choose a different income account. So this is kind of neat because uh, QuickBooks is not going to use the default uh, reimbursable expense income account. You will actually get the option to choose um, the account that you want to use. So we're going to choose landscaping services and save and close. And let's create an expense and choose the landscaping contractor. and disposal fees. Actually, let me just show you that if you if you use a different account, like let's say equipment rental, uh, if you try to use an account that you didn't mark as, uh, you didn't enable QuickBooks to use it as a reimbursable expense account, you're gonna get this error. Um, basically, what this error means is that you didn't tell QuickBooks which um, which account uh, which income account to associate with this expense once it's billed to the customer. So it, it, it's it kind of this pop up is gonna basically tell you you have to go into your chart of accounts and uh, choose the equipment rental account and enable this account to be used on reimbursable expenses. Um, and also to indicate the correct income account that you want to use. So uh, let's go back and change this to disposal fees. 
and now we would be able to save it. Well, let's save and close this. And uh, again, if we refresh our profit and loss report, we'll have $500 of new uh, disposal fees. So as, as you recall, it was $800 before, now it's $1,300. And this time when we invoice the customer, cool cars, let's add that billable expense. save and close and refresh the profit and loss we'll now recognize that income in the income account that we specified which is really nice uh, you know you can really customize your uh, QuickBooks file uh, to your liking this way it's the most customizable option um, and it's definitely the one I recommend so uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me. I'll leave my email in the description below. Um, you can also leave the, your question in the comments, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Um, and uh, that's all. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials in the future, and have a great day.